Good day, everyone. It's Turk, the old man metal dude, back with you once again. Yes, I am still alive. Uh, basically, I had the flu for four or five days, about a week and a half ago. Took a couple of days to get over that. Got distracted by my uh, growing enthusiasm for archery. Uh, bought myself a new bow. Very happy with it. Um, then went to record a video to put up on YouTube, finally acquiesced to the request that had been made many times in the comments to do a video for Wait in the Truck by Hardy, finished it, finished recording it, only to find for some reason it hadn't actually recorded any of the vision of me, just the film clip, uh, so that was ruined. And of course, now I can't do a reaction for that video because uh, I've already seen it. And I've got to be genuine and honest about the videos I've seen, so uh, I can't do that one anymore, unfortunately. So I do apologise to the people who did ask for it. Um, sometimes these things do happen and there's really not much I can do about it now. As I said, I've now seen the video, so I can't do a first-time reaction for it. And I'm not going to pretend otherwise. Today, however, hopefully I've gotten all the bugs worked out. And I can do this video, because it's been another one that has been asked for many, many times. And it is, of course, the story of One Sky by Dimash. Now... I tried finding, just through a normal search, the song to do, because people were requesting that I react to the one from the Almonty concert. And it seems most reactors seem to react to uh, phone footage of it, which I didn't really want to do, because there's a lot you're going to lose through the poor audio quality that's done through phone footage. Thankfully, a couple of people did tell me the times in the video of the Almondy concert part three that the song is done in, so I was able to take it from that, which is, of course, directly from Dimash's YouTube channel. So, without further ado, Let's get into it. It is going to be a lengthy one because the song is 10 minutes and I do like to stop and talk every now and then. Uh, so fair warning for anyone who doesn't like it when, so when reactors pause the video to talk. That is how I record my videos. So if that's not your thing, I apologize, but I'm not changing who I am for anyone. So let's get into it. Like I said, this is Dimash with the story of One Sky. Oh, and on a side note, I do have the subtitles turned on. I could very easily see myself getting distracted by his performance and not reading the, the lyrics. So be forewarned on that one. Let's do it. Sorry, only 40 seconds in and already I'm pausing. I love the way he does that almost whisper sing that really draws the audience in. You've got no option other than to really focus on what he's singing. Otherwise, you're, uh, you, know, you don't want to miss anything. And it really draws you in and... 
it's very emotive. So one of the things I've seen him do before that I really like. back that was a very interesting way to come into a, a vocal section with that manual well, self-performed volume swell that was pretty impressive on how consistent the gradient of volume increase was when done purely with your own voice that's very impressive <laughs> how much he's got the audience in the palm of his hands here which you can tell from the shots of the crowd like they are hanging on every word regardless of whether they can speak the language or not or even know the words just the way he performs it you've got no choice but to be captivated it's just amazing plus that bass tone is phenomenal so nice and warm. So hard to decide which tones to use for certain songs. But that's a nice warm soft tone which really suits the song well. a quick stop just how flawlessly went into that that uh, low register there like didn't miss a beat unlike the people who did the subtitles in this who decide to put them right across where there's text on the screen so one always cancels the other out so I've pretty much given up on reading the subtitles at this point and I'm just enjoying the performance <laughs> Thank you. 
just want to point out, I love the fact that he's got the film clip playing on the screens behind him. Just adds so much to the concert. And it's not easy to do, because what it means is that at the very, very least, the drummer is playing to what we call a click track, which basically just means in his earpiece, there's a basically an audio track just going, well, I'm, I'm not sure what noise it's doing, but it's amazing, making a noise for the start of the bar. So it basically goes click, two, three, four, click, two, three, four. That's for a song in 4-4 timing, which I'm pretty sure this is. Um, it just means he can play along with it. And as long as he's playing in time with the click track, everyone else will be in time. There may be some other instruments in the in his monitor. Also, other members of the, the band and Dimash himself may also have the click track and or other, well, I dare say they've got other instruments in the area pieces too. But at the very least, the drummer is playing along to a click track because otherwise it would be impossible to sync up that filmed footage with what he's performing live. So it's always very impressive. Okay, so, yeah, I'd say definitely Dimash himself also has a click track playing in his earpiece because he knew exactly when to come in there with no actual cues. Unlike the YouTube people who've done the uh, subtitles here because they are terribly out of sync. I'm glad I wasn't focused on them. Uh, unfortunately, this is a downloaded version, so I don't have... The option to really turn the subtitles off though I am gonna try so what do you know I was able to turn the subtitles off so being that they're that out of sync I'm not gonna bother with them now they're just out of the way Just had to pause, if nothing else, than to uh, work out what just happened. I, I've heard vocalists do that before, but normally they have to physically tap their larynx. That was a terrible example. To perform that sort of sound. And here he is doing it purely using the muscles of his throat. That's impressive. And we're going to go and hear that one again.
Okay, so in a lot of the comments out of the songs, people have commented that he learnt to do fried vocals for this song. Definitely slipped into that territory there. Um, firstly, just dropping down into that really low bass note at the start of that section. Just phenomenal. But then into that almost vocal fry speak was pretty cool. Be interesting to hear what it would be like in the sung section. I don't know if he has before or not. Well, not before, because people said he did learn to do it for this song. So it would be interesting to hear if he has sung it in a song, but that was still pretty cool. <laughs> Jesus, just when you think he can't be any more impressive and get any higher, he just builds up to it so well. It's just so impressive. I'm going to run out of superlatives to use to describe his uh, vocal technique, if I haven't already. manages to you know take his jacket off and fling it away all without missing a single note or even losing strength on a single note <sighs> just amazing now, i do apologize for the video uh, pausing slightly in the middle of that um the computer decided just to glitch out for a moment and I can't exactly go back and redo it. Now, again, I wouldn't be uh, exactly an honest first-time reaction if I did that, so I'm just going to have to leave it in there. I mean, if I was really finicky, I could probably go in and edit it out, but I don't know how seamlessly I could do that, and I'd rather just leave it in there for you know, authenticity. OK, 
okay, there's the, the vocal fry scream, um, sing, and I guess kind of scream as well. So I guess he has done it in the very same song. And it looks like those stupid subtitles are back. How? I did not turn them back on. They're actually in the clip. They're not an act, a subtitle track. Well, I guess uh, they're ones that were in the original video, so hopefully they're all synced up properly. Let's go back to the start of that section. <laughs> soaring note. Now I've been told to play it for a bit longer so I'll let it go. Such an amazing piece. So phenomenal. I'm running out of superlatives, as I said, to describe what he can perform, whether it be vocally or stage performance. Like even at the end, when he's you know, on his knees, hands and knees, seeming exhausted I have no doubt he is not exhausted he probably has a lot more energy in the tank than that but doing that as part of the performance once again draws the audience in and makes them feel what he's wanting them to feel throughout the music absolutely fantastic performance Thanks everyone for watching the video and if you're still watching, I thank you even more because I've no doubt a fair few people probably stop the video as soon as the song ends. Uh, but if you're still here, I very much thank you. As always, please like, share and subscribe. It will help the channel phenomenally. And as always, please head on over to Patreon. There's a bunch of songs on there that are not on YouTube, whether it be because they were recorded purely for Patreon or for other reasons had to be removed from YouTube. They are all over there on my Patreon page. Uh, link in the description and also above my head. Also, for the higher tiers of membership, there are other benefits such as the shout outs and the guaranteed song requests. But if you sign up to just the basic entry level paid membership tier, it's I think a dollar fifty US a month. So next to nothing. And for that you get access to all the exclusive videos. And it would really help me out a lot because we haven't had a lot of growth on the Patreon page for a while. So it'd be really good if people could head over and check it out. Well, that's about it. So as always, I've been Turk. You've been awesome. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm